Mark chapter 13, back to verse 14. And the Bible says, and you've got to read this slowly, you can't just go through it and bing, bang, boom, and pick up what you want, and hallelujah. Now, Mark 13, earlier we studied, looks like the book of Acts. And it can play out. It's also tribulation passages. And you got to remember in verse 3, Peter, James, and John, the angels, approach Jesus privately, privately. And he's still speaking to these four Jewish disciples who will be apostles. There's no church. And we saw that in verse number 13. You're not saved by enduring to the end. That is a passage that is tribulation related. So he says in verse 14, But when ye shall see the abomination of the desolation, spoken by Daniel the prophet, standing where he ought not, let him that readeth understand. Let them that are be in Judea, Jewish area, flee to the mountain. Now, don't you dare read it again, hear it again, see it again. Don't you dare apply this to the church. Do not put Christians. Do not say, well, what are Christians going to do in the tribulation? When I was looking up things like this, I constantly saw. Well, what about the Christian in tribulation? What about the Christian in tribulation? There are no Christians in the tribulation. When they get saved by the tribulation ways of salvation, they do not become Christian. And there's a heresy teaching that, you know, in the Old Testament they're Christian. During Jesus' time they were Christian, and now they are Christian, and they'll be Christian in the tribulation period. No! You are in great error by not rightly dividing the word. Now, Daniel, Jesus Christ, validates the prophet named Daniel. So if you go to Daniel 8, I mean, we could do a whole book of Daniel now, but we're not going to. Daniel chapter 8, which Daniel is a counterpart of the book of Revelation. Daniel 8, 11, it says, Yea, he magnify himself even as the prince of hosts, tribulation. And by him, the Antichrist, the daily sacrifices shall be taken away. So in the tribulation period, there is a time of the temples there. When it be, will be rebuilt, we don't know. But there will be the temple in the tribulation period. They will have their sacrifices. They will have their law. They will bring their calves, their sheep, their doves. Like they did before Jesus. In the Old Testament. Like they did during the time of Jesus. Which was stopped in 70 AD. At some point it's going to be rebuilt. And it's going to be stopped at the Antichrist. Now... The temple was stopped at Babylon. They conquered. It was stopped by Titus, the Roman. It will be stopped by Satan, the Antichrist. And the place of the sanctuary was cast down. So this is going to be destroyed again. And what's going to happen is the Jews are going to come on one of their holidays they're going to be singing and praising the Lord, psalms. They're going to approach the temple. The curtain, the veil is going to be open. And there's going to be somebody sitting on the mercy seat that does not belong there. And we read in Mark, when that happens, study, look at it, you understand. When this happens, Jesus says, flee. Now the church is gone. 
the Christians are gone. We are with Jesus in the air since the rapture. We are judged. If you are in the tribulation period, you're not a Christian. I don't care what prayer, I don't care what you believe, I don't care what religion. If you miss the rapture, you are not and will never be a Christian again. Because for the Gentile salvation is what and how they treated the Jews. And the hosts, that's the name they use for the Roman Catholic meal given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression and it cast down the truth to the ground and practice and in practice and prosper so Daniel speaks about what we're reading in Mark 13 There's the temple. It's not there now. And though you have you ever had a Baptist church, the temple of the Baptist temple? That's a wrong name. It's not a temple. And I'll tell you what the temple is. It's your body. And if you're not saved or you have unsaved members in your church, that's not the temple. You are conversing, you are dividing among the saved and the unsaved. And Paul says in the, in the book of Corinthians, that's a no-no. Unbelievers and believers, not to be yoked. That is marriage, and that is church. You're going to preach the gospel, not your church. So down to verse 13... Judah, Judah, verse 14 is Judah, Jew, Hebrew, Israel. Don't come say, oh, you know, we have we had this church trip to the Holy Land and when we got there, the rapture happened. Some of us, you know, we didn't we missed it because we weren't saved, and this happened. Let us run to Judea. Let us have a pilgrimage to Judea. Only if you're Jewish. Well, I'm a Gentile, I'm in the tribulation, what am I supposed to do? You don't know what to do. What? Because the ones, the sheep nations that are divided against the goat nations, they are on the sheep side by helping the Jew, and they don't even know what they did. Don't get into these movies. Right behind, left behind, underwear behind, and all that. They don't know nothing. Let him that is on the housetop, and you hear that expression throughout the Bible, it's the tops of the houses were like porches. There was work to be done on the housetop. Peter, in, in the book of Acts, in chapter 10, he's up on the housetop praying and he gets into the trance. How come... Santa Claus up on the housetop, click, click, click. I just shot old Saint Nick. How come he can be on the housetop? How come everyone gives Santa Claus the benefit of doubt, but they won't give Bible to Jesus? He does on the housetop, not go down into the house. So I'm assuming there's a ladder jump. Neither enter therein to take any like, anything out of So listen, when this happens, and it's going to be news, this is going to spread. You won't believe what's happened at the temple. <coughs> but the Jews are going to know. At that point, the Antichrist will make himself known. And Jesus said when this happened, understand, 
The Jews are not going to know until he reveals himself in that temple. They're not going to know nothing. When you see the Antichrist, Jesus says, run and don't, put, don't carry any burdens. Don't grab anything. Just go. Well, you got Exodus here. But at least in Exodus, they were allowed to carry things. They carried the jewels and the gems and gold of the Egyptians. They carried their bread. They carried their, their uh, the troughs. Jesus tells them nothing. I think the expression is they got up by the, by the, the shirt on their back. And even if you don't have a shirt on your back, run. And let him that's in the field not, not turn back again for to take up his garment. And there it is. But woe to them that are with child, pregnant. And to them that give suck, children on the breast, in those days. Because you're coming now into the mark. And I don't mean the gospel, but I mean the mark of the beast. And it, you got a problem getting formula today, and the formula's out. I have a funny feeling that all the food is being stocked right now. And if you want to give your child formula, you and your child better have the mark. You want to take your child off the press onto a food that they're able to adapt to. Well, when you run down the store and you self-check yourself, you better have the mark. Your child gets an earache and they're screaming and they're itching your ear and you go to the ER and no mark. No service, and you'll be taken over to the the prison ward. Your child might be taken, marked, and put off with some queer family, and raised. or given to a drag queen. I mean, they're in your schools. They're teaching your schools. I mean, my daughter told me the other day, uh, the drag queen's butt goes round and round, round and round. So what do you got to say to that, Stiley? I don't care if you save the laws. Pull your children out of the public school system. Make it so there's no children in that school and they can't get their tax money. And those teachers better repent and those drag queens better go away, or the wrath of God is going to be upon them. But don't go back. And it's funny because don't go back, even grab your clothes, and grab your baby. Does that mean even don't even run back and tell your family, let's go? At least Lot got to go tell his family. At least Lot got to go tell his, his son in laws. Got that? Jesus said, don't even go back. And if you want your family to know, you better have a loud voice as you're running. And Lord forbid, I, I pray that there, because I pray for the Jews, I pray, Lord forbid that, that women those children say, you're turning people away. That's the wrong thing to say. How many women have you seen in the Bible crying over their child that something's wrong? But they got relief eventually. 
Not now unless you unless that child's given up. That's the mama government. Listen, there are tons of people today that they, they, they have all kinds of men they, they sleep with and they get government money and the children are born. They don't even know who their fathers are. And the government takes care of them. Welfare, WIC, SNAP. Turn them over to the government. And they're not going to oppose the government because if they start getting right, they, I mean, first of all, they got to live right, they got to give right, they got to repent, they got to make a loan for the government. Ain't going to help them if they're going to get right. I mean, they got the housing, they got the food, they get more food, they get money, they get free phones, free internet. You get that mark, you're going to get anything you want for salvation. And pray that your flight airplanes be not in the winter. You say, well, oh, you're taking out of context by Revelation 12. Book of Revelation chapter 12. You'll see I'm not taking out of the flight. about the children. And in verse 4, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, we read about that, and did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman Israel, which was ready to be delivered, and to devour her child, as soon as it was. Here's, a, here's the devil, getting ready to devour a Jewish child. Like the Catholic Church, every week, they take a piece of bread. This is the blood and body of Jesus. You mean Jewish body and blood? You do it all the time? And then they wipe their faces. I've done no evil. Proverbs. The adulterer. The rest. She brought forth a man child for the rule of all nations iron. Verse 6. Look at this. Revelation 12, 6. 12, 6 plus 6 and 6. 666. At the timing of the of the of the mark of the beast, 666. Revelation 12 says, 12 being Israel. The woman fled into the wilderness. She fled. The doors open. The veils hung open. Yeah, run. The woman fled. That's not the church. Into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her a thousand and two hundred and three score days. She fled. And with the place here is that she was given great land. I thought it said she had given great wings. And I guess it's somewhere else. Well, she fled to the wilderness. Mark 13. And Jesus said, flee! Pray that your flight be not in the winter. Why? The snow will ground the airplanes. Antichrist will have power. He might make it snow. You know, I think some of those those mighty heroes, Marvel here, I think one of them can make snow and stuff like that. For in those that, by the way, Jesus didn't make snow. Jesus didn't make storms. Antichrist will. For in those days shall be affliction. Oh, yeah. 
time of Jacob's trouble, such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this day. Since God created, there's going to be affliction in this world. Never has been seen. Neither shall be. Once this time of Jacob's trouble happens, comes and goes, there'll be never. Don't don't worry about oh when we get to New Jersey, what if, no, there'll be never. These will be the worst three and a half years of ever to be. And unlike Exodus, they can't bring anything. Unlike Joshua, they can't bring anything. What about Adam and Eve? They didn't bring anything out of the garden. You don't read anything. Except that the Lord had short and had, look, look at had like it's already happened. Because the Lord's already seen yesterday, he's just breaking backwards. You try that. Short in those days, that's interesting. No flesh shall be saved. So the tribulation period will be so, and you read the book of Revelation, except God's intervention. It could be wiped out the whole world. Like Noah's day, but only eight were saved. So when you go and quote, you know, as the days of Lot and as the days of Noah in the church age, we ain't talking about the church age. Because Noah had eight, Lot had two. This is the tribulation period, my friend. You're going to realize the population of the Jewish people is going to go. <laughs> and how many Jews come out unknown that are brought into the promised land by Jesus? I'm sorry to say, Adolf Hitler will be considered a pussycat of a woman, of a, of a cat lady at dinner time compared what the Antichrist is going to be to those Jews. And there's going to be nations who are going to look upon that Jew and they're going to help that Jew. And you can almost look at the nations today and realize who's not going to help them. But I could be wrong. And it's going to be 144,000 male Jews, not Jehovah Witnesses. And they're going to be about on a circuit like Samuel. We're doing Bible here. And they're going to preach to the Jew. Because Jonah, who was a Jew, said, No, I'm not going to the Gentiles. And it's funny because today I'm doing my Genesis commentary. And I'm not going to those Gentiles. He was going to go to Tarshish. Tarshish was a Gentile city. <laughs> He hated the Gentiles so bad, I'm going to get on the closest bow, the quickest bow. Tarsus is okay. Wait a minute. That's a bunch of Gentiles. But Nineveh was wicked to Israel. Nineveh was wicked to Israel. So would Antichrist. While Peter's on the housetop praying and waiting for them to hurry, hurry up and make dinner, he goes to do a trance. 
he gets this vision of a sheet and food and three men show up from a Roman Catholic before the Catholic Church. And Peter says, you guys are unclean. No. There's 144,000 Jewish men of the tribes of Israel minus Dan and Ephraim, I believe. I'm not sure. Going around preaching the Jews. What are they preaching? This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. Hey, you better listen to this New Testament, my friend. Well, we don't do it. No, you better shut up and sit down and listen to Matthew. You better sit down and shut up and listen to Mark. You better sit down and shut up and listen to Hebrew. You better sit down and shut up and listen to the book of Revelation. You better sit down and shut up and listen to James. James is a tribulation book written to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. I don't know how more you can get a book written to Hebrew. Not forsaking the saints. The saints are Jewish people. Check your Bible. And you better get in a group of Jewish people, rather be a group of, tribu uh, uh, of Jewish people, than get out there and be that lost sheep, 99. And you hope the master will go out and get you. And not the hireling. There is coming such a wicked time. This is why Satan's working in all the world now and getting everything all confused. Except that the Lord shall shorten those days, no flesh, no flesh shall be saved. You got it? You got the point? But for the elect say, the elect say, it's not the church, not the Christians. No, 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 no. The elect say, is Israel. And nobody but Israel. Because the church is gone. Moses and Elijah show up. I just I know it don't say Moses and Elijah show up. Um, it's not Paul and Silas, two missionaries to the Gentiles. It's not Timothy, a preacher to the Gentiles. It's Moses, the law, Elijah, the prophets, Jewish. And 12 tribes of 144,000 men who have never married and never been defiled by women. Right now, the Southern Baptist Church is, is being broken up over the defilement of women preachers. The Southern Baptist Church is taking the right stand, and if you're taking part of this alive church, you need to get out. The Bible says no women preachers. But the elect say Israel, whom he has chosen. Israel. And you find that all through the Old Testament. The only apple of God's eye is Israel. You're the apple of my eye, sweetie. No, no, no. Oh, the Old Testament, as a preacher down south here, oh, the Old Testament, they were Christian, and you're defiled in your teaching. 
because they weren't Christians until they called them in Antioch. That's the book of Acts. He has shortened those days. So it seems like somehow in the tribulation period, though it's three and a half years, it looks like it's been shortened. Now the devil would want you in the church age, you know, time's going by so quick, see? You see they had an earthquake over there? You see their famine over there? You see the gas prices reach four dollars a gallon? You see the Democrats are in control? I see the church going after a man named Trump. I see the church going after a country named America. I see the, the, the Christians going after guns. I'm after God and Son Jesus Christ. I'm, for, I'm from New Jerusalem. I'm just a pilgrim, and I got my sword, the Word of God. I'm not a Christian American. I'm not an American Christian. I'm just passing through. And then if any man say to you, Lo, here is Christ, anointed. Notice how it's capital. They're not saying they're a Christ. They're saying they're Christ capital. That's what the Antichrist. I know we call him Antichrist, but he's going to call himself the Christ. And he's going to have little crises running around. Rome would be the one that wears a fish head in Rome. Or lo, he is there. Look, Christ is there, Christ is there, Christ is everywhere. Here, here, here. Old MacDonald had a demon. Believe him, 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 not. For false Christ, capital C, plural. you got 144,000 running around, and you got a whole bunch of Christ. You better have a Bible. And there's a story, I, I, I haven't looked it up, will be to me, that there was a Christian that went over to Salopetra and hid a bunch of Bibles. Thinking that that's where Israel is going to go. And when they get there, the Bible is going to be revealed to them. I don't know. Maybe the report got so public somebody went over and looked for them. I don't know. False prophets. Plural. Well, Jezebel at 450. Elijah dealt with 400 others. All most of the kings, not well, pretty much most of them, dealt with false prophets, even had false prophets. And shall show signs and wonders, that's the Antichrist, and to seduce if it were the possible deal though. So to go for, and I know three, and I've seen many others advertisement, to go for and to proclaim that you are a Christian magician. You are likened to the magicians in the book of Exodus. Every time they showed up, Pharaoh hardened his heart. And they did everything particular to what the man of God did. And the Bible says about the Antichrist, he's going to do such signs and work that you're going to be almost believed by the elect. Almost. So will these false Christ and these false prophets. There'll be a traveling Christ and false prophet May Day. 
or heyday of circus antics, of time of fun and face painting that's already in the Baptist churches. That in some Baptist churches that I've been in, you put the pastor up on the platform and you throw balls to re-baptize him in the, in the fallen tank. The problem is with these guys, the faults, it's almost going to be real. At least one day it will be real when the Antichrist does it. If it were possible, even to the elect, here we go. It's going to be so convincing, even the elect. And the Jewish people know all that is wicked. But if you are a Jewish person and happen to be brought into a Baptist church, come to my church, come to my church, we're having a fellowship, and you, did, and you see them act like clowns and dress up like clowns and got face painting and little booths where you can buy and, and earn cookies and all that other kind of stuff. All you do is teach, hey, the rapture happened today. All you taught those Jews about, it's okay with the Lord. That Baptist church was doing it. Take heed. Behold, I have foretold you all things. So, these words are going to be read by Jesus again. But in those days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened. This is the end. This is the seventh year. And the moon shall not give her light. There will be absolutely no light natural. And the stars of heaven shall fall. Revelation chapter 12. And the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. Because the devil knows he's got a short time. Then. Shall they see the son of man. This is the second advent. This is not. It is not. It is not. The rapture is not the second coming. The rapture is not the second advent. The rapture is the rapture. The second advent. The second coming is now at the end of the tribulation period. It's a big difference. Because if you say the rapture is the second coming. The rapture is the second advent. You have put the Christians. Through the tribulation. And I had a buddy the other day tell me and had me read their old church thing and it said they're going through the tribulation. Coming in the clouds the great power and glory he will be. And then shall he send his angels we're not angels we'll be likened to angels but we won't be angels shall gather together his elect from the four winds. There's Israel. So it's not just one place. From the outer part of the earth to the other part of heaven. That's interesting. And we'll stop there.